you out there looking like him, you're going to offer him, but that's where you think you are. He's going by the way you look. But you want to get all upset now. I'm holy. You don't look holy. All right. If yeah, you want to ask. That's why I told you, put a few things holy and unholy. Amen. Clean and unclean. That's right. That's right. Women dress like that because of what they're trying to do. Get attention. Okay, now, brother. And when you get that attention, a lot of them don't want it. Yep. I get upset with the man. Well, you attracted him. I'm just attracted him. And when you got attracted, he come over. Seeing what you offered him, then you want to get upset. Don't get upset, get over. And you want to have that problem. Go back. I don't want that no more. <laughs> Second Thessalonians, huh? Second Thessalonians, one and ten. Yeah. When you shall come to be glorified in His saints. Where you gonna come to be? Glorified in His saints. But in order to be glorified in us, what He gotta be? Yes. If He's not in us, He can't be glorified in us. That's true. And we can't be caught up in the first resurrection, so He's not in us. In Revelation twenty and six, I believe it is. Blessed and holy. Blessed and what? Holy. holy. Is he that hath part in the first resurrection. So when you come back glorified in the saints, come back take it up in the first resurrection, we got to be what? Holy. Holy. We got to be holy. We got to be holy go filled when he come back for us. We got to be perfect when he come back for us. Right. He ain't come back with just anybody. That's right. If he can buy it for himself. Today you go again, yeah, yeah, I go again. That's right. <laughs> I'll let you know what Christ coming back for. That he might present it to himself a, glo to himself? a glorious church. A glorious church, not a dead church. Praise Glory God. being praised. Yes. He going to present it to somebody that praises him. Yes. You think God going to dead church people that praising him? He don't want that. Because he even told us to praise him. Praise him in the day. Show for the praise he called out to his marvelous life. He wants us to praise him. He wants to see us glorifying him. So his glory can be in our midst. We are praising church. We're a church to have life in it. But that's what he's coming back for. What do you want those dead church sitting up there? Amen to lie here now. Turn around looking at you because you said they sleep. <laughs> Well, glory to church, you know, praise in church. Amen. And that's what we do. Amen. And probably some people said, that's what we do. Amen. We pray to God. Yeah. We go to another church, they don't pray, we're going to pray. You say that glory to church, we're that glory to church, we're going to praise God. You say that look all you want. Hallelujah. Looking at the pastor, see what the pastor wants to praise him. What do you mean for? You want that praise in you? This is an individual thing. I don't do like praising for me. I get my own praise on. Now when you pray, he's going to bless you. He ain't have the praise of his people. Read. Now have a spot. Now have a spot. Or wrinkle. Or wrinkle. Or any such thing. Any such thing. That it should be holy. It should be what? Holy. Holy. And without blemish. Without blemish. Perfect. He ain't talking about this building. He's talking about the people. People got to be holy and they got to be perfect. To be part of Jesus' church. Amen. We caught up in the first round of the race. If we're not that, you're going to be caught up in the second. If we're caught up in the second round of the race, you're going to the lake of fire. So all these fools around talking about you can't be perfect, you ain't nothing but a fool. A fool says it's hard, there is no God. And God is a perfect God. He gave us a perfect gift. Give me James 1 17. Every good gift 
Every good gift. And every perfect gift. Every perfect gift. It's from above. Where it's from? Above. Where does the Holy Ghost come from? Above. What kind of gift is it? Perfect gift. Good and perfect. Where that perfect gift come from? Above. Make you perfect. Make you perfect. Not this here, but what's on the inside. Make your inner man. Make your soul perfect. Flesh can never be perfect. You have scars and all that on. Amen. But that inner man, your soul, can't be made perfect because it's a spirit. Therefore, the Holy Spirit, which is perfect inside of you, it will fake your soul. Amen. It will fake your inner man. People are so stupid, they can't see nothing but the flesh. Yeah. Saying you can't be. God says, be, I can be anything God says. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't thinking about it, man. Man can't save you. Jesus saved you. Amen. And what the word said, that's what we got to be. Not just hearers of the word. Do it. We got to be doers of the word. We got to abide in the word. So the word abide in us. Amen. We don't live our bread alone. Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. Everyone go in there, that's what we got to be. We got to be holy, we got to be perfect. Amen. And we try to tell God people that, get God people perfected so when Jesus comes back, because he's soon to come. Yes, and he'll let us know what kind of church he's coming back from. Yes, and we all got to do this in the video. So you make up your bed, every man be swayed by their own mind. But if you're right in the Holy Scripture, We just don't preach here. We preach in Metro Gale, too. Amen. Oh, we let them know Amen. what they got to be. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So we got to let folks know. Right. So they get prepared and get ready. Amen. And the only thing I'm set them free is the truth. Amen. And the only way they're going to be cleansed is through the Word. Don't let the devil trick you. Amen. Don't let the devil fool you. That's right. Well, he will do it. Yes, he will. I went to Metro Jail. I started the book of Genesis. Take them all the way to Revelation. Perfect. By being perfect. I asked him one question. Why wasn't Noah destroyed with everybody else? Because oh, the scripture said he was perfect. So since he was perfect, what happened? He didn't get destroyed to anybody else. What did God tell Abraham? Come before me and be out perfect. Yeah. And you go back there, do the wrong around. God told people to be what? Perfect. Now how can we say you can't be? Okay. And God has said all this. He said, nobody will put that. I love when I say that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Don't take so. Yeah. <laughs> What did God say about Job? Perfect enough. <laughs> so where all these foolish come from? Okay, now, maybe. People don't want to obey God. So they know they're going to be perfect. I can't be out of sin in no way. I can't be doing anything right. I got to be holding all my own conversation. Come on, my flesh don't want to come into control. Mm -hmm. I want to obey flesh. Paul said, I'll die dead. All right. yeah. the perfection, you got to die dead. Yeah. Yeah. You got to kill this flesh. Mortify yeah. it, put it in there. Right. Let flesh know. You just might want to get somewhere. Don't even try to say nothing. Don't even try to do nothing. Well, them son, you are dead for the day. Oh, yeah. He said, walk in the spirit. You're going to feel the love of the flesh. This is why God gave us the Holy Ghost. Amen. What do you think the Holy Ghost coming to? Fourteen twenty-six. John. 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 John 14, 26, the Lord don't know. But the comforter. Somebody ain't standing. Uh-oh. 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 U
Go ahead and get in the New Testament. See how that old. Are you done listening to? Read. But the Comforter. But the Comforter. Which is the Holy Ghost. Which is the Holy Ghost. Whom the Father was sent in my name. Whom the Father do what? Sent in my name. This is why we call on the name of Jesus. Yes. Because the Holy Ghost, you got to call on his name and offer God to send. That's right. We call on Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Then the head of the Holy Ghost, we speaking in tongues. A couple of obeying the script. Read. He shall teach you all things. What the Holy Ghost come to do? Teach, teach you all, all things. things. Not some things, but all, all things. Teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance. And bring all things. Now the Holy Ghost will bring to your remembrance. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Don't, don't be telling no lie. I, 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 I got that. Now all you did, you just went on dead it in her. The Holy Ghost brought your remembrance before you did. Yes, but you try to get some excuse, but I try to get some scripture to try to contradict the Holy Ghost. So you can do what you want to do. Oh, no. I didn't remember that. Two lies, you got the Holy Ghost, you remember. You just didn't want to obey. Read that again. He shall teach you all things. Teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance. All things in your remembrance. He just said something. All. All means just that. All. I ain't even out of nothing. He'll bring your remembrance. Yes, right. You just don't want to hear what the Spirit is saying. Right. You just don't want to be obedient. Oh, it wasn't the fact that God didn't warn you. It's the fact he didn't want to obey the warning. That's right, right. Read. Right. And whatsoever I have said unto you. Say, whatsoever I said unto you. No matter what it was, what I said, I told you, and the Holy Ghost will let you know what my word says. Let's do it. It's going to bring you in remembrance. But you got to have it. Yeah. And if you got it, don't be running around talking about you didn't remember. And you wouldn't want to quit lying. It's all lies. Hell, hell, hell. Hell, hell. And a lie is going to tear me this up. This is what I did. Yeah. You repent to God, so I don't do it no more. Amen. Don't try to make no excuse because there's no excuse. Or 15, 26. But when the comforter has come, when the comforter has come, whom I will send unto you from the Father. I'll send unto you from the Father, and call my name. If you want, you got to call my name. Yeah. And then you'll receive it. Great. Even the Spirit of Truth. Even the Spirit of Truth. But what you doing that? <laughs> you both have truth on your side. Amen. Amen. My truth, you remember. Know, you forgot. No, the Holy Ghost told you. You just obeyed and disobeyed. Read. Which proceeded from the Father. It proceeded from the Father. He shall testify of me. What are you going to do? Testify of me. Testify of me. Who would that mean? Jesus. Jesus. I ain't got time to testify about my boss. No. Unless it's Jesus. Amen. Unless my boss, I'm testify about him. That's right. No boss on the job. I ain't got time. He can't do nothing for you. Yeah. He didn't save me. Yes, yeah. Jesus. All right. Read. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. What you going to do? Bear witness. You going to bear witness. Witness of who? Jesus. That's what we're going to be talking about, testifying about, and bear witness about. Just Jesus. That people know he's just Jesus. Yeah. It ain't the whole. Okay. It's Jesus. Right. So God has given us one name now. Right. That name is hollered with every name. Right. And that name every knee going to bow. And every tongue going to confess to. Right. And that name is Jesus. Amen. He don't call on all the whole. He don't call on Jesus. Right. That's who the Holy Ghost is. If you want to call it. Amen. If you want to call your friend, her name is Lois. You don't call Alice. <laughs> <laughs> you call Lois. Sam and Jesus. Yes. You want Jesus, you don't call it Lois, you call Jesus. Amen. That's right. Amen. Well, he's the author of the faith.
Everybody got their own way, but God got his way. Right. And for God, we is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. How we shall be in the way this year to call the way of holiness. Amen. God got a perfect way of holiness. Amen. That's the only way he got. Amen. And God said, I give you one arm and one way. In the day about 32 and 39, I mean, the heart of God is. And I will give them one heart. God, now give me your heart. Yeah, you know what folks tell folks? Yeah. Yeah. If he's not giving God's heart, yeah. God don't want to do a filthy heart. Yeah. God can't do a little stony heart. Yeah. God don't feel about to give you a heart. Yeah. But you got to give God something you don't want. Yeah. Right. Heart full of sin, and hate, oh, yeah. everything in that heart. But you want God to take that. A perfect God, pure God to take that. No, God give us a heart. And one way. Now I give you how many ways? One. Well, you wish your way, not wish you mine. No, I'm one way. Ain't no one way to wish you God. That's in spirit and in truth. Ain't no other way to wish you God. Ain't no other way to be but holy. You can't be all these other denominations or they call themselves. You got to be holy. That's God's way. The way of holiness. Three. That they may fear me. That's the problem a lot of folks now. That's the truth. They don't fear God. That's the truth. Because a lot of them don't even believe God. Yeah. So they're doing in and everything. Not realize you're going to have to stand for the God of your creation. And when you stand for them, you're going to fear them. Okay. You're going to be trembling then. Yeah. They're going to be begging then, but it's going to be too late. Yeah. But now they don't fear God before the people. It's why everything going on now. Yeah. Well, don't care what they do, how they act, what they say, how they do. Amen. Use God's name in vain. Amen. Do all that kind of stuff because they don't fear God. Amen. But when you sin on judgment day, that's the only thing you're going to be with you is fear. Well, if people fear God, they'll live better. Amen. They'll get saved. They don't fear God. But God will have a last sale on everyone else in the room. When we go to the right and go to the left, God will direct that traffic. <laughs> That's all that. Well, sir, it says forever for the good of them and of their children after them. See, you fear God. It'd be good for you, it'd be good for your children. When you feel God, you're going to your children to feel God. Amen. But now we got children out there murdering Amen. and think nothing about taking a life. Yeah. Are they selling drugs? Yeah. Are they stealing, raping, doing everything? Because yeah. the parents didn't feel God. Right. So they didn't teach the children to feel God. Right. So we didn't do everything. But so God is looking. He died in every place. We ought to go to evil and the good. Amen. Judgment day, everybody gonna get paid. Amen. But you ain't gonna get no sight for you yourself. Amen. The way to sin is death. But to get to God, it's your own life. Amen. You either bind in death or you bind in life today. Amen. If you're in sin, you can walk in dead. Amen. If you're saved, you have life. You're walking in the newness of life with Jesus Christ. You're a new creature in Jesus. But the choice is left up to us. Don't mess around way too late. Amen. Now is the accepted time. Amen. Now is the day of salvation. Yes. Yes. Call on one while he's near. Yes. Seeking while he may be found. Yes. But that's why he's going to call He's going to mock you. He's going to seek and he ain't going to find you. You're going to be pulled away from you. When we call the Lord, I, I'm ready to be saved now. He ain't going to mock you. When you say that, he's going to say that. But he don't intend to save you. You realize now that hell is real. And that it's hot down there. Now you want to try, oh, I need to get saved. But I don't want to go there. But it's too late. What folks complain about now? Uh, it's hot out there. Uh, oh, it sure enough hot. Not realizing here is not hard for us. Amen. 
up here you can come into the air conditioning. Yeah. You know, we just cold drink, cold drink of water. Yes. Sit down and kick your heels up. Yeah. But in hell, yeah. the only thing you get to drink is fire. Yeah. And you kick your heels up, that fire will be burning, you can bring it back down. Yeah. There ain't no relief in hell. You won't believe is in Jesus. Amen. Without Jesus, there is no relief. Amen. But then when it got both eyes looking into the world mm -hmm. and seeing everything he offered them. Just like he tried to offer Jesus. He offered people the same thing. Right. And a lot of saints are falling for it. Jesus didn't fall for it. You got to hold it. What you don't fall for it? For the lust of the eye mm -hmm. and the pride of life. So they fall for it. But you got to reject all this stuff the devil offered. Amen. Because the devil offered you finance. What are we going to do you? Mm -hmm. Can you throw this to God? Give me your bucks. <laughs> Let me in. Mm -hmm. You ain't going nowhere but to the lake. You're going to in the lake, but not in there. All silver gold be on him. That's right. Got one thousand here, earth in the full of the earth. So what should you do to your already created? Amen. He said, protect your body Amen. as a living sacrifice. Amen. Or something which is your reasonable yes. service. And this is what we got to do. Amen. I'm going to present yourself to God you ain't holy. And I'm going to accept you. Amen. September 2, 19. Nevertheless, <coughs> foundation of God stand sure. Nevertheless, what? Foundation of God stand sure. What well, foundation stand sure? What? Having this seal. Having this seal. Lord knows those Lord. that are here. Lord knows those that are here. <laughs> and later, you can say all you want to, but God knows those that are here. Amen. Read. Amen. And let everyone that is in the name of the Lord. Everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. You can't be out there sinning and tell out you're a Christian. <laughs> like all these folks, everybody take the name of Christian so lightly. Everybody is a Christian. But nobody living like Christ. God wanted Jesus with the Holy Ghost. You don't have no Holy Ghost. So what you doing to a Christian? Christian means Christ like. God didn't call the people Christian. The people that ended up calling the folk Christian. God calls us saints. And we always will be saints. Old Testament we were called saints. Jesus come back to glorify not in the Christian. He came back to glorify in the saints. He said, I sanctify myself, they might become sanctified. He sanctified us so we can be what? Saints. So therefore, if we are not saints, Jesus ain't going to be glorified in him. A oh, Christian was a name given by a man. Saint was a name given by God. Right. You find saints all through the Old Testament, all the way to the New Testament. You find the word Christian there three times. But they really follow that, and the follow what read that now. Numerous of times.